When we had left off last week, I made this to keep the lever attached to the ram, and it didn't really work that well. I was only able to punch a, the piece of metal this thick with it. And you see what I've done here. I've welded this fulcrum rod in place. I've uh, built a bigger uh, lever for it, and uh, this, this thing, uh, that was pretty hokey. This is nice and solid now. All we need to do now is, is find a way to get this up-down motion. What I had done before was I was pulling straight down and uh, just relying on the additional leverage. Now we're going to actually create some multiplication of force. And the way we're going to do that is by building a scissor gadget. Now I've got these pieces of cardboard here that's, that are simulating. That should work. So let me make a couple of pieces of steel to, to take the place of this. Okay, so using the cardboard I messed around with the gear ratio and it appears the shorter the bottom one is, well, see I've got this piece of pipe that I'm going to just weld onto here and it appears that the shorter the bottom one is, the more torque is delivered, but it's also the less distance it will move it. I think this length will do the job, but we're about to find out. Now if you've seen more than two of my videos, you know there's no telling what might be next. So make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time I release something new. Okay, so I can fit a piece of quarter inch plate under there. And then when I actuate it, it goes all the way through. Uh, this punch is rated for half an inch. And, and I, I only want to use it on a quarter inch. Anyway, the... Uh, I'm thinking if we just weld this pipe on here, that should do it. But before I do that, I, I want to do a little mod to these linkages here. I want, to, I want to join these two small plates together. And then I also want to join these together too, because you see the way I had to spread that out? Uh, I want to make sure those are stuck together solid there. Now it's all together, but it's a little bit stiff. One thing I gotta do is grind that bridge because it, now that I welded it, it won't drop down all the way and I can't get my full quarter inch plate into there. Okay, let's take a look. That should work. And I got my quarter inch clearance again. All that's left is to put the handle on. Okay, so one thing I want to do is I think I want the lever to come out a little bit, so I'm just going to put a weld there, put a weld there to jack this up a little bit, and then weld this on, then I'm going to weld the whole thing onto that. And that should be all the tack I need to change the angle of that enough. Alright, well let's give it a try. This is 16 gauge. Okay, that, uh, that wasn't too tough. That left a nice hole and it didn't need to be clamped down, but I'm going to clamp it down anyway. Let's move up to 8th inch. Well, 
that ain't so easy. And you see what's happening? As I apply this force, this whole thing is flexing. That punches a pretty good hole in the 16 gauge, but it still only leaves that dimple in the 8th inch. Now this is a lot better than it was, but I can still only give this project a C because it won't do the 8th inch plate. This isn't the same batch from last week. This is a new batch and there's another stack that I already had to drill because this wasn't done. On the bright side, I, I learned a lot about the gear reduction, about how the movements work, uh, but there's just way too much flex. This stuff here is only half inch thick. I'm trying to punch a hole in eighth inch material. This is going to have to be a lot beefier. And the sweep of the arm is going to have to be a lot longer. This exercise has given me all the geometry I need to build the next one. And the next one is going to reuse a lot of these parts, but I'm going to use way thicker steel. The base is going to be one inch plate. Uh, this whole tower thing will also be one inch plate. So I guess this video series is going to have a part three, but I'm not sure when part three will be. All in all, I'm pretty happy with the project, but I am going to have to build another one because I really need this tool. Anyway, I'm happy to answer any questions in the doobly-doo below, so please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like, and have a good one.